Well, welcome back to the channel. We're here with another episode of our Guadeloupe Challenge. And after last time's disappointment of not even qualifying for the Gold Cup, today we'll be looking at our 2026 Nations League campaign. So following defeat to Haiti, we had a series of friendlies to play for the rest of the year. And as you can see here, victorious in all of them, beating our fellow Caribbean nations, all with the Bees, Bonaire, Bahamas and Barbados, also branching out a bit, taking on Solomon Islands, beating them quite handily, and also seeing off Qatar 1-0. We perhaps got a bit over-exuberant with our friendly opponents in early 2026, travelling to Bolivia and hosting Iceland, but losing both times. But now, as you can see down here, we've got our fixtures for the CONCACAF Nations League, and it's Haiti again. We've got Haiti again, so a chance to extract some revenge, I hope. We've also got Puerto Rico. That's the other team we could have faced in that Gold Cup playoff, but they lost to Haiti. So two pretty decent Caribbean sides there. And then we've got another unranked nation, another non-FIFA member, San Martin. That's another French dependency, um, shares an island with the Dutch colony, Saint Martin. Sorry if I'm using the wrong terminology there, but anyway, that should be easy pickings. That should be an easy six points. And then we've got to see what we can do on the pitch against Haiti and Puerto Rico. Okay, but first, a look at the squad here. I mean, it's not too different from the Gold Cup qualifiers. We have, though, started to bring in some regens who've appeared, including one from Arsenal, but not that Arsenal. This is from Le Arsenal, a club in the Guadeloupe League. And that player is Julian so at this point, he isn't yet to make his debut. He's only 15, but if we look at his national report, we can see he's got two-star potential already, so as good as many of our other central midfielders. It's a bit of a weak area for us, and he's got that potential to get up to about four stars, so, you know, straight into the senior squad for you. But while we're talking about bringing players in, this is one of the frustrations of this kind of save in Football Manager. Now, we know there's many things missing, many things in need of some attention and improvement or just implementation in the international side of Football Manager. But one thing that I'm really annoyed about this year, because I, I swear when I've done these small nation saves in the past, this has been different. When I search for players, now it's showing up some players of Guadeloupe nationality, but I swear in previous years there used to be an easy way with the filters where you could say, show me players of second nationality Guadeloupe. Um, but when I say that, it only shows me two. Now, we know there's more than two across all those French teams. And just bringing up the clubs here, I mean, it is showing me one player who's based at a club in France and then a player at a Bulgarian side, but where are the rest of them? And also in terms of the scouting assignments, now, for some reason I can give these to coaches as well as scouts. We get the option, but this is from a news item, I get the option to scout the Guadeloupe leagues. But again... I swear, in the past, and if I click on create new assignment, um, this thing here, add a competition or nation, it just it just doesn't open up. And I swear, in the past, you used to be able to send your scouts out to scout any active competition in the game. So I've had instances where I've managed like a team in Africa, and again, a team with where there's a lot of regens that come through the French leagues, and I would send my scouts to France to check them out, or I've managed, you know, a, play, a country like Jamaica and sent my scouts to England, or I've managed Turkey and I've sent my scouts to Germany, and I can't do that for some reason. So is this something that's been removed, or am I just imagining it? But anyway, that means what's happening, what I'm having to do to try and find players is I'm coming over here to, like, nations, and I'm choosing France, and then I'm kind of manually, I'm going to the under-19 leagues, and I'm clicking on the teams, and I'm looking through. I've got a, like a, I've got an overview set up here, so I can see the second nationality, and I'm looking through. Okay, here's someone from Guadeloupe, so I'll go and take a look, and then I'll approach them. He does not look like he's 15, by the way, but then I'll go and approach them and ask them to represent the nation, and so on, and then we get rejected. So, but it's just such a pain to have to go through it one by one team by team, just looking for anyone who 
could potentially be eligible for Guadeloupe. It's just a bit of a pain to go through and do this, especially when you forget when you've already done it and so on. I'm sure there must be a simpler way. I'm sure there used to be a simpler way. Really, sort it out, SI. Anyway, rent over, kind of, for now. What I'm going to do for this one, I've already played through the first few matches. I'm just going to show you the results, and then we're going to do a live com for one of the key games towards the end of the group, and hopefully we're going to be pushing for that top spot, for that promotion up to Division A. So yeah, we started off with the easiest game in the group. We hosted St. Martin, and as you can see here, we absolutely hammered them 8-1. 20 shots on target. We got an XG of 4, so we kind of double outscored ourselves. Um, so perfect start to the group. And then even better, as we got big-time revenge, travelling to Haiti and thrashing them 4-0, putting us in pole position in the group, after just two games. Puerto Rico next, and it was a bit of a frustrating one, this one. It finished nil-nil, and as you can see here, Phaeton managed to miss not one, but two penalties. Luckily, though, we had a chance to make amends in the next game, sent Martin away, 5-0 win. And we kept our faith in Phaeton, who this time scored from the penalty spot. So anyway, at the moment, as you can see, Haiti, well, they've won three of their four games, losing to us, of course. So we have a one-point lead on them, and they are our fifth opponent in the group. So, of course, that's going to be our live com coming up shortly. Obviously, if we win that, we've guaranteed top spot. If it's a draw, it goes down to the final day, and we've got to get a result away to Puerto Rico, because I think Haiti are going to beat San Martin. But before we get into the game, um, I know I did rant a bit earlier about how difficult it is to find Guadeloupian players and persuade them to come over and represent us, but I do have a few new faces in here. From Troyes, we've got Maverick Sigor Nock. So this guy, if we take a look, I mean, only two stars in terms of his ability, but he can play as a defensive midfielder, which is the position we need, that we use a lot, and he has got high potential. We've also brought in another Nock, this time Lenny Nabab Nock from Tours, I believe it was, yeah, Tours F. See, so if we have a look at his report, again, a similar thing with the two-star current rating, but we want to get him that cap, that competitive cap, so he doesn't later switch his allegiance back to France. And keeping with the double barrel surnames, and someone who's got a surname as a first name, Stevenson Dillo Blaze, what a great name. Now, he's joined us from Stade Brestois, but again, We've got that two stars for ability. We've got the high potential there. Again, a defensive midfielder, so someone we can use. And from the same club, another youngster, Raphael Socrier. He is an attacking midfielder, can play out on the wing, on the right. Two and a half stars this time, though. Two and a half stars, so he's got potential. And sorry, there was one more. Not a regen this time, though. Malhori Nock, who plies his trade in the Dutch leagues, he got in touch to say, hey, I'd like to play for Guadeloupe. So he's picked up four caps so far. He scored a goal against San Martin. Welcome to the side. And indeed, Malhari Nock will play on the right of our team today. But let's go for it. We're sticking with the 4-3-3 formation. All right, so we've kicked off. We're ready. And we've got an injury already. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, potential foot injury for Casimir. Uh, with one minute and 36 seconds on the clock. All right, well, time for one of our youngsters to shine, Rafael Socrier. We're going to send him out there now. Inverted winger isn't really his position, so we just play him as an out-and-out -out winger. Got faith in you, mate. Get out there. Be a hero. Be a match winner for us. All right, so not the greatest of starts, but let's see what we get from this first highlight. I think that must be... Haiti starting with the ball, because it's not my goalkeeper. There we go, Socrier, the youngster. Montu plays in knock, one of the new boys, and Malhuri knock gets his second goal for his new country. We've taken the lead. Fantastic. Yeah, it is turning into a bit of a Guadeloupe versus Haiti series, this one. <laughs> this, is, this marks the fourth time we've played them in competitive action. We've played them in everything we could play them in. We've played them, there we go, Malhuri knock again makes it 2-0, but we've played them in the Gold Cup. 
We played them in Gold Cup qualifying, and now we've played them in the Nations League. So we've done a lot against Haiti. Hopefully, you know, we can move past them now. This will be like one of our rivalries, and we get the definitive win here. And then we move on to, you know, go head-to-head -head with a different foe. But anyway, could we add a third goal here just to really assert our dominance early on? Malhari knock, early contender for man of the match. He wins the ball back. Is he going to score his hat trick? He went for it. He went for it. I'm sure the two guys in the middle were screaming out for him to lay the ball off to them. All right, barely time to catch my breath here, but we're up to 25 minutes now, and we are looking for goal number three. It's been all one-way traffic so far. Let's see. Come on, Guadeloupe. Cavare to Marcel. He plays it to Socria. The youngsters hit the post on his debut. That could have been a beautiful goal, but play goes on. We still get the highlight here, and this time it's Archimede. He thundered that. Did that hit the crossbar, then hit the goalkeeper? I think we'll have to take another look at that. All right, let's go behind the goal for the replay. So Archimede, yeah. Oh, no, that kind. Of, I think that hit the crossbar, hit the post. And went in. But all right, 3 0. Absolutely fantastic. Can we make it four here before half time? Socrier, he's got it. Cavare, Cavare. I thought he was going to shoot. Santini went for a shot. Mm. Haiti, they're just getting men behind the ball. They're blocking us out. And it's turned into a counter attack. Hopefully, they're not going to launch some major comeback here. Ooh, ooh, interesting bit of goalkeeping, but it worked. Oh, but here we go. First half stoppage time. Jean-Jacques committed the foul, and now he's he's pretending to be injured to try and get some sympathy. But all it means is Haiti are down to 10 men as Nock takes this free kick and fires it just over. And that is the final action of the half. We've absolutely dominated so far. 3-0, a very good margin. We still have to be careful, though, that we don't let Haiti back into this but i think an early goal in this half an early goal to make it 4-0 and then it's pretty much game over and off we go to division a next time that's good for the series of course because it means after this we're going to have the 2027 gold cup coming up now i think if we win our group here if we top division b we shouldn't have to qualify we'll have to wait and see on that one um i think to be honest, the qualifying in Football Manager 2023 is a little bit bugged. But more on that in a future episode. And there is that fourth goal, Archimede getting it. But then that means we're going to have Division A to try out. So obviously, we're going to try and make sure we can stay in Division A and we don't get relegated. And then from there, try and push on to make sure we in Division A we make it into that final four of the Nations League. And, you know... Winning something with Guadeloupe might be a massive challenge, but I think if we can get to a semi-final or a final, we could call that a victory of sorts, an achievement. But we will see how it plays out over the next few years. As Archimede, what a strike. It's been checked for a possible offside, but I think with a goal like that, you just have to allow it for the style. It's been disallowed though, hasn't it? The style of the shot, it's thundering off the crossbar and bouncing over the line. Like, oof, very tight, very tight if you ask me, but never mind, never mind. We'll, we'll get that fifth goal soon enough. All right, Haiti on the attack here, looking to get one back, and they do. A little bit too easy, that one. We still have our slip-ups every so often, unfortunately. But um, I did just before that dial in a couple of subs. As you can see there, it's asking me to confirm them. So Nabab Nock and Segor Nock, they've come on to make their debuts alongside Socrier. All right, but it turns out for those two youngsters, those, that debut is just minutes on the pitch, but it's a big win. 4-1 against 80. So there you go, with a game to spare, we've got a four-point lead, so there's no way they're going to catch us. It doesn't matter what happens now in the game against Puerto Rico. And there it is, as I suspected, topping our Division B group means we've qualified directly to the Gold Cup for 2027. Damn well, we rotated, we gave a load of youngsters a run out, and we paid the price. We lost 1-0 in that final game to Puerto Rico. But we still finish top of the group, and that means next time round we're going to be up here with the big boys in Division A. <laughs> but not Martinique, who got relegated. So despite the negativity of uh, some of the reactions here, we'll go with this one, that we're keen to build on this 
this Nations League success, and you can check out our next Gold Cup campaign in the following video.